So, as you might have heard, we've got a VR headset coming from Apple. There's supposed to be two iterations of it, and it's been a long time coming. They've been talking about it for years, in fact. So we were supposed to see an unveil in March, but that's been pushed back to June. I think that's because they're probably trying for a third quarter release on this. Now, there's an awful lot of rumours buzzing around about it. The first one is that they actually started on this first iteration and then since then they've decided to make another version of it and they've been actually being produced and developed alongside each other. There's a couple of people saying like, oh, well, one's going to be better than the other. But I think actually what's going on here is these are two completely different items. One is going to be a goggle-ish kind of headset, which is the first one that's coming out supposedly in quarter three this year. And it will be unveiled sometime in June. I believe at WWE. Bleh. WWDC. The second unit's being developed at the moment, it's not in production yet, and we're looking at somewhere around next year or the year after before we get that one. But like I say, I believe that these are two completely different types of product. I believe the second one that's coming afterwards, which is going to be a much smaller version, something that you can probably wear outside, and that is just going to have um, very minor features, I believe compared to the goggle version. So let's talk about what we're getting this year. So like I say, it's a goggle kind of looking headset. One of the main ways I believe they've been able to miniaturize this product compared to some of the other products out there that are currently available are down to these pancake lenses, um, which I believe are just very, very thin lenses. In terms of construction, you're probably looking at what Apple usually do with their things. I mean, if you look at a lot of the rendering, we can see a lot of aluminium, a lot of glass. I believe there's some carbon fibre and stuff, but don't quote me on that. So what we're seeing at the minute is two very distinctive Apple-esque kind of headbands that go with this. The first being kind of, I think, it's more drawn from the Apple Watch, you know, with the kind of... Um, the little pin on the end that you kind of tag on and like the silicon structure um, you're seeing that in some of these renders the other headband style is taken from the actual AirPods Max themselves which I think look really really good and I would like to see that actually implemented but I believe that you're probably going to need some strap over the top um, with both of these designs actually to really make things secure. Me using the Oculus Quest 2, um, I think that's absolutely imperative. Otherwise, you're gonna have this strap is just gonna have to be too tight around your head. The devices are rumored to have up to 15 cameras on them. Now, this might seem a little bit like overkill, but actually one of the reasons for this is because there's no actual controllers that are gonna be coming with these. The actually going to track your hands completely now how this is how this is going to work and whether it's going to work well we'll have to see the other reason as to why we're going to have so many cameras and there's actually going to be cameras looking at your face so maybe when you're in game or when you're interacting with somebody else in one of their kind of apps you're going to be able to see that person's kind of facial features as well as their movements but you might even see some feet tracking there involved in that which would be really cool because that's something that's just not implemented at all with VR or AR at the minute. On top of the pancake lenses, we're also going to have iris tracking, which is probably a camera or such inside the headset, looking at your eyes, checking where your eyes are going. Now, the reason why they're going to be doing this, and they already actually do it in the PSVR 2, I believe, it might be even in the first one, is to change the resolution of what you're looking at. And this is obviously to conserve power and battery life. On the inside, you're going to have two 8K resolution screens. So obviously, if you have them at full power the whole time, it's going to be very demanding on the unit. There you kind of have it really, that's as much as we know so far. So yeah, looking at all the main sources and websites that know about this device, um, this is the information that's generally kind of the consensus. I really hope a lot of these things come to light as well because they're just, you know, they are going to set the thing apart from the rest. But at £3,000, um, I don't think many people are going to be buying it. Let's see what June brings for us. Anyway, thank you very much, guys. You take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.